Before I explain my amendment, I just want to um, correct the record. There's been a lot said here today, and we've all engaged in, I think, it's at times a thoughtful discussion, but there have been many things um, said about the current conservative justices on the court, and in particular, the justices that were nominated by the, the, the previous administration and President Trump. And I just want to, to set this record straight, I'm just going to take this moment to tell you exactly what Justices Gorsuch, Kavanaugh, and Amy Coney Barrett, my friend Amy, said in their confirmation hearings. Start with the most recent. Justice Amy Coney Barrett said in the hearings that she shared Justice Scalia's judicial philosophy of originalism and textualism, but she declined to give an opinion on Roe or Casey. She said, quote, I think in an area where precedent continues to be pressed and litigated, as is true of Casey, it would actually be wrong and a violation of the canons for me to do that as a sitting judge. So if I express a view on a precedent one way or another, whether I say I love it or I hate it, it signals to litigants that I might tilt one way or another in a pending case, unquote. She was pressed again by Senator Feinstein on whether she, quote, agreed with Justice Scalia's view that Roe was wrongly decided. Justice Barrett again declined to answer. She said, Senator, quote, I completely understand why you're asking the question, but again, I cannot pre-commit or say, yes, I'm going in with some agenda because I'm not. I don't have any, any agenda. I have no agenda to try to overrule Casey. I have an agenda to stick to the rule of law and decide cases as they come, unquote. Justice Kavanaugh, he said, uh, he called Roe, quote, an, an important precedent that has been reaffirmed many times, unquote. But he also said in the hearing that he would be open to hearing arguments if a particular case is needed to be revisited. Of course, he said, I listen to all arguments. You have an open mind. You get the briefs and arguments, and some arguments are better than others. Precedent is critically important. It's the foundation of our system, but you listen to all arguments, unquote. Justice Gorsuch, I said earlier, he said Roe was indeed a precedent, but he declined to call it a super precedent because that's a loosely defined term that no one can, can acknowledge. Don't say, do not say that these justices misled the Senate. They did not. They spoke with clarity and conviction and consistency, and it is wrong to malign their well, the character. Will the gentleman yield? I will not mis yield. Let me tell you about my amendment. I will not will yield. You, you, you're misleading. Oh, give me a break. Oh, okay. Give me a break. The, 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 the kings of misleading over here are telling me that I'm, I just read you the exact quotes of these justices in their will hearings. Will the gentleman yield? I will not yield. None of them no. said Roe no, was I'm here, no, wrong I'm, I'm retaining my time because I'm going to tell you about my amendment because this is equally important. This amendment to the legislation is very simple. It says the applicable codes of conduct under this section shall require the termination of any employee of the court who releases confidential court information, including draft opinions, final opinions before release of the opinion has been authorized, confidential communications of any judge or justice or the employee of any justice or judge on matters within the scope of their office or employment. Okay, look, we need to clarify this because the, the, this unprecedented leak has called all, caused all sorts of chaos and has enraged the left, and they're going to the homes of these justices and trying to intimidate them, which is a blatant violation of federal statutes, of course, and, and most state laws. Never mind that the DOJ is looking the other way. Merrick Garland will never pay attention to this. It's, it's absurd. But, but listen, if we're going to do this, we're going to get on the ethics, let's just clarify what hopefully all of us should agree with, because the leak undermines the institution of the court itself, the independence of the judiciary, which is a foundational principle upon which our republic rests. And, and I can't imagine that any of you would disagree. Might, we might disagree on the underlying issues here today, but hopefully, hopefully you'll agree with this amendment that if somebody leaks an opinion and does this kind of damage, that they ought to at least uh, be terminated from their job. I yield back.